بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم ڈاکٹر معین الدین جنجوا آئی ایم ورکنگ ایز اسسٹنٹ پروفیسر آف میتھمیٹکس ان دی ڈپارٹمنٹ آف میتھمیٹکس اینڈ اسٹیٹسٹکس انسٹیٹیوٹ آف سدرن پنجاب ملتان آئی ول بی ٹیچنگ یو دی کورس آف ریسرچ میتھڈولوجی دس کورس ول بی آف 15 ٹو 16 ویکس اینڈ ان ایچ ویک we will study two lectures of one and a half hour duration the course objectives of research methodology are to understand some basic concepts of research and its methodologies to select and define appropriate research problems to organize and conduct research in appropriate manner to be able to write good research proposals and thesis The contents of this lecture are what is research objectives of research need of research thesis research importance of research First of all we define what research is research is a logical and systematic search for new and useful information on a particular topic In the well known nursery rhyme twinkle twinkle little star how i wonder what you are the use of the words how and what essentially summarizes what research is it is an investigation of finding solutions to scientific and social problems through objective and systematic analysis it is search for knowledge that is discovery of hidden truths here knowledge means information about matters the information might be collected from different sources like experience human beings books journals which publish research papers nature etc a careful consideration of study regarding a particular concern or problem using scientific methods is called research research is a systematic inquiry to describe explain predict and control the observed phenomenon research involves inductive and deductive methods Inductive research methods are used to analyze and observe an event. Deductive methods are used to verify the observed event. Inductive approaches are associated with the qualitative research and deductive methods are more commonly associated with quantitative research. In the next lecture, we will study in detail about qualitative research and quantitative research. Moreover, A research can lead to new contributions to the existing knowledge. Research is not confined to science and technology only. There are vast areas of research in other disciplines such as languages, literature, history and sociology. Research is done with the help of study, experiment, observation, analysis, comparison and reasoning. For example, we know that Cigarette smoking is injurious to health. Heroin is addictive. Cow dung is useful source of biogas. Malaria is due to the virus protozoan plasmodium. AIDS is due to virus HIV, and so on. So, how did we know all these? We became aware of all these information only through research. Now, what are the objectives of research? To discover new facts, to verify and test important facts, to analyze an event or process or phenomenon, to identify cause and effect relationship, to develop new scientific tools, concepts, and theories to solve and understand scientific and non-scientific problems, to find the solution to scientific, non-scientific, and social problems, and to overcome or solve the problem occurring in our everyday life why people do research what is the need of research so no person would like to do research unless there are some motivating factors some of the motivations may be to get a research degree phd mphil along with its benefits like better employment promotion increment in salary etc to become a scientist in a research institution or 
to get a teaching or a research position in college, university or research organization, to solve the unsolved and challenging problems, to get joy of doing some creative work, to acquire respectability, to get recognition, curiosity to find out the unknown facts of an event, curiosity to find new things, to solve these society by solving social problems. Some students undertake research without any aim, possibly because of not uh, being able to think of anything else to do. Such students can also become good researchers by motivating themselves toward a respectable goal. Now, what is thesis research? PhD degree is a passport to a research career. The PhD period often influences a research scholar to make or to break in a scientific career. During PhD course, one learns how to pick up research problem, how to carry out it, how to extract new information from the results and how to publish the findings to the scientific community. Thesis research inherently involves those aspects of subject that cannot be actually learned from textbooks or from lecture courses. It is the point where the values, tradition and styles of science are transmitted from one generation to another. Now we see what is the importance of research. Research is important both in scientific and non-scientific fields. In our life, new problems events and phenomena occur every day. Particularly, implementable solutions and suggestions are required for tackling new problems that arise. Scientists have to undertake research on them and find their causes, solutions, explanations and applications. Precisely, research assists us to understand nature and natural phenomena. Moreover, some important avenues of research are A research problem refers to a difficulty which a researcher or a scientific community or an industry or a government organization or a society experiences. It may be a theoretical or a practical situation. It calls for thorough understanding and possible solution. Research on existing theories and concepts help us to identify the range and applications of them. In mathematics, we do research on existing theories and concepts and identify the range and applications of concepts. It is the fountain of knowledge and provide guidelines for solving problems. Research provides basis for many government policies for example, research on the needs and desires of people and on the availability of revenues to meet the needs helps the government to prepare the budgets. It is important in industry and business for higher gain and productivity and to improve the quality of products. Mathematical and logical research on business and industry optimizes the problem in them. Only through research, inventions can be made. Social research helps to find answers to the social problems, it explains social phenomena and seeks solutions to social problems. So this is the end of our first lecture. In the next lecture, we will study research methods and research methodology, importance of research methodology, types of research, pure and applied research, quantitative and qualitative research, take care of yourself and your family, if you have any questions you may ask on the LMS portal, take care Allah Hafiz.